wickedness, you have broken the ancient commandments and crafted a bond with one of the light. Our laws are clear. They demand you be eternally imprisoned. As for the impure child, she must be kept from the path of the dark arts or at All right, welcome everyone to Bayonetta, a series that I didn't expect to play, honestly, even though I promised I would. However, we recently got that extra juicy Nintendo Direct a few days ago, and if you noticed, there was a Bayonetta 3 trailer, and <laughs> that got me hyped as fuck. Because Bayonetta is, is a game that I, or is a series, a franchise, if you will, that I really, really enjoy. So I thought now's the time more than ever to put this on my channel. Because I love this game and I want to play it for you guys now. Especially with Bayo 3 coming soon. So let's just get started. In a universe of light and dark, where perception is reality. What does that mean? We'll find out soon. So yeah, I've never done a story-driven game on this channel. Um, except, yeah, no. Splatoon and Pokemon are the only two things on my channel. And neither of those are as story-driven as this game is. So I don't know how I'm going to handle it. I don't know if I'm going to be talking through cutscenes or just kind of staying quiet. Um, that's where you guys can let me know how to approach these things. Um, I think a little commentary during the uh, during the cutscenes isn't too bad. You just got to watch out not to overdo it. The clans paid each other great respect and their efforts to maintain the balance between them defended the just passage of time. Yet one day, that balance was toppled. And captions are on, so... Hopefully I won't interrupt anyone who's trying to listen in on the story, but this game is old, so I mean, if you don't know the story, I, I highly encourage you to play this game on your own, because it's so good, um, and it's very, 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 very fun to play, and hopefully I can show that off for you guys here, because one of the re main reasons I got into Bayonetta was because of the, uh, Gameplay itself, it feels so good to play this game. The, the combos you can pull off and the... Just the style of it all is fantastic. And it feels great to play. But for now, we go through exposition by beating the shit out of angels on a falling, on falling pieces of <laughs> a building to make one of the most iconic gaming intros that we've ever seen, honestly. So much so that they added it to Smash. Speaking of which, oh Jesus. Humans began to condemn the name of Umbrella. 
I'll let him, I'll let him finish his little uh, story first. Human faith in the miracles of their god pushed the witch hunts further, and soon the Umbra witches, keepers of the darkness, were extinguished from the earth. Imagine exterminating a whole <laughs> group of people. Couldn't be humans, right? Gonna go straight to present day. Great, great. Yeah, nothing, nothing spooky about people in robes ever. And here we have. Mysterious woman. Mmm, nothing says. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I forgot this, how intense this beginning was. Nothing like mass suicide to set the tone of a game. Costume change, we will be doing that this time, but if you would like to see a costume, let me know. Um, there are Nintendo exclusive ones, so those are always fun to do, but for now we're just going to get started with the um, normal stuff. So I am playing this on the Switch version, as you can imagine, because I don't have a good PC, so this definitely wouldn't run. Um, and the Switch version is pretty good. And you get exclusive costumes, so there's that. Even though I think you can mod them in anyway, so it doesn't really matter at this point. Good old Platinum Games. Love them. Making great games. Astral Chain being another one that I really enjoyed. Not for the same reasons, but a good game regardless. And then your boy Hideki Kamiya, who blocks people on Twitter. Imagine starting your own game when someone fucking pissing on your tombstone. Icon. You know, I still don't get why the hell you drag me out here for these things. I just drop off the merchandise. Hey, bet you can't guess what today is. There she is. Our main lady. With her long ass legs. For old Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty. But you gotta keep the outfit happy. We don't take care of him, they take care of us. And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. But hey, it's that kind of town. Without good hearted souls like us to put these bastards six feet under, where'd society be? Course, we live in a society. Jesus, you really get into this shit, don't you? I wonder if, if the me, book actually says anything or if it's just a bunch of like nonsense text. At least sunny side up. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Egg. You can keep praying, but the only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. <laughs> Speaking of hungry, we done here. My kids are baking me a birthday cake tonight. Cute little fuckers, I tell you what. Well then, adios. Bro. What the fuck? They're here? For this 
<laughs> Douchebag. I hate this damn light. I can't see a thing. Oh, but the there ain't they. You hearing me? You you can see them, can't you? I see them. They are instruments She's of God speaking. descending upon his heavenly rays to earth. Oh my god. Dear Lord, grant us guidance. Keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity. Nice Harry Potter glasses, Bayo. Alright, here we go. It's beginning. Oops, I'm sweating already. You you ain't ready for this Boy. if you've never seen this game affinity angels how cute then they all just get the shit beat out of them Jesus Christ Yes, please. You know what the crazy part is? All this crazy shit that she's doing is looks tame in comparison to the actual gameplay shit you can do. It just makes this game even better. <laughs> yeah, watch your... Here's another badass character, Rodan. Well, I spoiled it, but you know, he's... He's introduced pretty good, anyway, in a few seconds. Next time you put your hands on him, you better make sure I'm dead. Now move out the way. Bro. If it ain't my good buddy Vincent. He's so cool. What the fuck? He's got a nice coat. Not him. Rodas. Oh my god. Yes, mom. <laughs> oh, the thirst. It's 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 rising again with me replaying this game. There she is! Big mommy milkers Bruh. herself! And the fucking music, oh my god. Oh, I for- yep. That's another thing this game has, is the, the A1 camera angles. Gotta love those. Oh my god. <laughs> Whew! She's got, and she can put guns on her heels. Again, iconic. As she proceeds to just, um, literally dancing on her enemies and, uh, just, my god. Get the Glocks out! Guns. 
no, yep, can't forget the lollipops. I <laughs> I I can't this game is too It's too good Alright, no, no touch controls please and thank you. Alright. Now we can I don't need a tutorial There we go. Who does this game think I am? A tutorial oh a halo, a very rare spiritual metal containing the essence of an angel's life force. AKA money. Oh, I don't have my combo extenders yet. That's a. That's some. Um... Oh, and then you might hear my butt. Uh, what? You might hear my control button kicking. What am I saying? You might hear my control buttons clicking. Uh, sorry about that. I'll try to see if I can drown those out somehow, but uh. I don't, I, we'll see. Can I get my combo extenders now? Okay, well, I guess I can talk about um, how I got into this game to begin with, since it's such a near and dear franchise to me. Uh, so I first heard of Bayonetta in high school, I believe, when she was announced for Smash. And I remember people being extremely hyped for her, and I didn't understand who or what she was. So I remember she was announced and everyone was fucking losing their minds and I was like, who the fuck is this person? And she obviously stood out from all the other Smash characters because when they introduced her they were like, oh yeah, she summons demons and all this other fucking crazy ass shit. So I was like, who the fuck? So then I decided to look into her. Into her. As a character, not literally. Anyway, I decided to look into her as a character and clearly found her games. Uh, so I had an Xbox 360 at the time and I went to my local GameStop which carried Bayonetta on the Xbox 360 and I bought that bitch. And it was one of the best purchases I've made in a long time. Because this game was very well worth it, albeit it was a bit frustrating to learn because the learning curve in this game is pretty intense. Especially if you don't really know what you're doing, which I really didn't at the time. It was my first introduction to the hack and slash genre. I know, surprising, it wasn't Devil May Cry, it was this. Yeah, so I sucked pretty badly at it and I... Remember I looked up videos online of people being good at this game and it looked crazy. So I was like, I want to learn how to be that good. So I watch videos. Um, I watch people, uh, the person who taught me, honestly, how to play the game well was another uh, person who's a, YouTu uh, a YouTuber, basically, who plays Bayonetta games or is known for her Bayonetta games, uh, called Yoshesk. You can, take her, you can check out her channel. It's pretty cool. Um, she does videos on like tutorials on how the ranking system works, uh, dodge offsetting, which is an important thing. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, I learned how to play this game and it was great. And then it got... I didn't have a Wii U, so I couldn't play Bayonetta 2 at the time. Uh, so I uh, didn't play any more... I just played the, Bay the 360 version until Bayonetta 2 came out on the Switch. Which was also amazing. Uh, not as good as one, for reasons I'll get into uh, some other time, not now, but uh, still a fantastic game that you should check out. Also, just Bayonetta's character is so fucking cool, like, she doesn't give a fuck about anyone. And she's a badass character. 
and a gold. Well, not what I wanted, but... Redan should be paying me for even touching these toys. You have any idea how much this is gonna cost to fix? <laughs> how the fuck do I always get wrapped up in this shit? Engine still purrs nicely. Now, about this little thing you've been looking into for me, Enzo. Let's have a quick chat. See? This is why I told you I was going home. I <laughs> just got held up in the air by some Relatable, honestly. things, and you want an intelligence briefing? It never stops with you. You keep belly aching like that, and you're liable to wake Eggman from the dead. Big man. I can't believe Sonic killed him. Something tells me you're gonna need a rush on our special project before this shit hits the fan. Wait, Rodan. What about Eggman? Such a popular chap. I bet they hate him down there as much as you did when he was up here. We just need to make sure he won't come crawling back when they kick him out. Nothing a flower bed can't fix. Fill her up. Oh, I'll fill her up. Fill her up. Fill her up. I bet. <laughs> you heard the man. I need Finish to stop. In five minutes, or you're walking home to your cake. This game got me feeling what? some type of way. Alright, just whipping it on that with that busted ass car. What the fuck? What a day. I'm screwed. How much does Bayonetta weigh, actually? I wonder if that's a that's a fact someone knows. Right. <laughs> nice. Dressed like a nun too. When you end up in the afterlife. That is wild. This game really just I wonder how the um the Christian community reacted to this game if they ever even if they ever even heard about it. They must have been foaming at the mouth. Surely they heard of it. They they got on Bayonetta, like I'm not a bit sorry. They got at Pokemon, which was irrelevant to anything religion related, so a game where a woman is literally fighting angels and summoning demons, they Yeah. If I needed a biographer, you wouldn't be my first choice. Oh I see to the funeral. You get me the information I asked for. That was our deal. <laughs> Come on now! Look at my poor car! <laughs> Look at my poor car! At least let me get a drink at Rodan before you start drilling me. The info I got is good. It's gonna get you close to finding the other stone in the pair and figuring out some of that lost past of yours. I swear. Jewels instead of cash, just like a girl. <laughs> and like, ooh, Jesus. casual sexism. Got a <laughs> Enzo. Someone's given you a present. Hey, too bad. I can't stand bugs. Oh, that's a microphone. I thought it was a tr like just a tracker this whole time. What the hell? Whole ass plane out of nowhere. Bayonetta just she just doesn't give a fuck. Oh, and this is where introduced to the 
mysterious woman we saw at the beginning. Or earlier, I guess. We're still at the beginning. She just decided to take down a whole ass plane with her. And just like Bayonetta, she's just fucking slaughtering angels left and right. Another badass character. Everyone in this game is badass, honestly. Except Enzo. Oh, hell yeah. Time to beat some more ass. Yeah, slap them up. And now we can do torture attacks. Which is an execution move. Oh, I. Ouch. What is that? That thing is called like an Iron Maiden, I believe. A real contraption which was used. Goodbye. Watch this. Alright, well, you're dead. So I was only show oh, I was only able to show off one torture attack, but uh there's like several variations. And a pure platinum, that's what I'm talking about. Excellent. Stunning. And a trailer out of nowhere. <laughs> Just dead ass flew away. Everyone on that fucking highway is dead, by the way, and again, just no one cares, no one, she doesn't care, no one mentions it. The Gates of Hell Bar. I'd go there, honestly. Have one drink and then pass out. Sounds like my time. My uh, sounds like a good time. You don't say. It's getting harder and harder to tell the worlds apart. Human world. Inferno. Paradiso. Who can tell the difference? Right. So that whole reality thing, reality thing quote that they mentioned at the beginning. That's this. So humans can't see angels because they exist on a different plane and can't interact. So that's why Bayonetta crosses through each of them. In case that didn't make sense. The Book of Revelations is gonna look like Mother Goose. Heaven and hell are gonna go straight for each other's throats. Heaven and hell can tear each other to pieces for all I care. I've got my own problems to worry about. Bruh. Something's up. Everything was a bit too bracing. And Enzo's tip makes the timing too perfect. This reeks of a setup. Someone in one of those lost men. to get a new weapon, Bayo. 
I'm sure you guys can guess which ones they are, right? Got a little present for you. These babies are special. Built from an alloy the devil himself would kill to get his hands on. Don't break these, because they're one of a kind. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I keep I these I it just escaped my mind that all these images. Calling me out. I don't go in for strange offers. Then again, I'm getting a little tired of these weaklings they keep throwing at me. Maybe I should aim for something a bit more high class. That's a small ass. What is that? Is this, that's not a shot glass, is it? What is that? It's like a. It's not a, like a. I don't know. I don't drink. And if I do, it's not that much. Enzo, her drinks are going on your tab, buddy. You did. <laughs> all right, there's the prologue all done. I should have been a oh, well, I mean, she got the talent, honestly. Oh yes, and the minigame angel attack. Where you shoot things and you get extra money or items. But you get penalized for using items, so uh... Free money! Which we will definitely, definitely need later, so uh, gonna try to do my best here. Oh god. Nice. Nice, let me get this last one. Cool! Ooh, 85. I think that's... 8,000 rings? Rings? This ain't Sonic. 8,000 halos. Gimme. Alright, um... You know what? Let's just do... Chapter 1. Fuck it. Alright, so this is all exposition, where we're looking for, yep, the right eye. Hmm. To the point, no one could stomach the price. So back goes the stone. But not before everyone figures out where the guy is. <laughs> You're gonna enjoy doing this one, I bet. Where yeah, Enzo? I love sticking it to the rich. Of course, when you do, don't forget your old buddy Enzo stuck his neck out on this one. Slide me a few fuzzles out of the rich guy's pocket. Fuzzles? Right? Anyways. You better get going before the trail gets cold. Off to the middle of nowhere. Paradise of Europe. Vigrid. So now we're in Vigrid. Oh, getting more fun. Oh, I gotta stay quiet for this one.
Oh man, you had to kill it, whoever you are. Imagine just having a disembodied voice speak. Well, I think well that's just schizophrenia, but you know what I mean. <laughs> She wa so, <laughs> Why does she walk like that? To be Please. Alright. Well, anyway. We're at the first chapter. In Vigrid. And there is a secret here. Um, if you break all of the benches up here, you get a free thing. So, uh, I'm gonna go do that really quick. Alright, and last one. So if you break all of them, oh, purple butterfly, magic, the train starts leaving. And if you hop on it, you get free money if you go through the tunnel. Just like that. And you get this! A broken moon pearl. Yep, and if you get two of them, it increases that magic bar at the top. Which lets you do torture attacks and a few other techniques later on. Let's just go ahead and continue through. Oh. Alright, just gonna ignore that. A sphere, the sphere embedded into the wall is emitting a wondrous light of, and resonant sound. Getting closer makes it blah 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 respond to witch's power built in. The, AKA beat the shit out of the wall until it opens up. Bam. We need a key. Oh. There's a hole for something to be inserted in. Not. Okay, just not gonna, you know. Come on now. <laughs> There's no indie windows here. But here's the key. And now, oh, a mandragora root. And now the game turns into Kingdom Hearts. A big ass key. Die. Bam. Sora who? We don't know them. Break the statues, sometimes you give stuff. Nothing. Well. Oop. Yeah, keep them pure platinums coming. A voyage towards the truth. Um, so these are pages of lore. We're not going to do these because it's a lot of rigging. But, um... If you're interested, you can always just look it up online or play the game yourself, which again I recommend because this game's great. Anyway, it has been destroyed in an unnatural manner. And now we get to fight people with wicked weaves. Wicked weave techniques use your hair as a conduit to summon forth demonic entities. Connect these techniques to punch or kick combos for a devastating finish. So they're combo finishers. And this is the shit I saw in Smash Brothers that was wild. And... Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Whew. Incredible. Blows kisses to fucking blow open these spiritual doors or blockades. Alright. The lightning release will be your test. Dodge the lightning. And you'll be able to walk on water. Because 
speed. Cool, green laurel health. And we hit this. And it makes an elevator. But if you head back, there is a secret for you to find. And it's down here. Whoop. It's a Alfheim, which are challenge portals that give you free stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and do those really quick. Oh. <laughs> Alright, what's this one? Use which time? Cake work. Oh, wait. <laughs> Goodbye. Hit me. Aw, oh, I tried getting him. Let's just dance on him. And you're dead. And you get their items if you kill them. With a torture attack, that is. Or sometimes they just drop them on their own, I think. Nope. Off. Oh, there goes you. Who's left? You. Come hit me, friend. Come on, get up. I ain't got all day. Just gonna just bust the move. Oh, here we go. Just. Yes! Do that to me. Anyway. <laughs> A baked gecko, Geico.com. They never end, do they? Come on, man. What are y'all doing? Wasting time. So yeah, if you taunt, they give you magic. Oh, I hella fucked that up. All right, hello? Are we back? You want to touch me? Yes, I do, but are we back? All right. Sorry about that. It looks like my laptop ran out of storage midway, so thankfully I caught it on time. But um, from the challenge, we get a broken moon pearl. So, bam. More magic. All right, and now we can continue. Okay, well, how are you guys liking the game so far? I certainly am. I most definitely am. Another funny story I have is I remember I played this, when I first got this game, I had the uh, great idea, oh, cutscene time. JK, talk to you guys later. I knew it. This town's teeming with heaven's little helpers. It's making my buddies downstairs awfully nervous. And your point is? <laughs> Some places in this world are closer to Paradiso or Inferno. The rat hole of a town you and I live in is close to both. But the Vigridians, they got a special air about them. They're closer to Paradiso than anyone should ever be. And that shit just plain creeps me out. I guess I'm gonna have to set up shop here and score me some halos. These stupid rings are worth a fortune back home. Since it seems you're spoiling for a fight, if you come across any of these, bring them to me, and I'll hook you up. <sighs> Another one looking to line his pockets. <laughs> I'm beginning to see why Enzo is so fond of you. Real cute. But let's get one thing straight. Your fights are yours alone. I'm only here to watch my handiwork in action. So don't get any bright ideas about coming to me for help. No. You get one thing straight. I'm not the slightest bit interested in the fact that you made these guns. If you get in my way, I will... How do 
do the Americans put it? Oh, yes. Bust a cap in your ass. Right on, baby. Right on. <laughs> She will bust a cap in your ass. Bruh. Anyway, that basically gave us access to the shop. So let's go buy things right now. So what was I talking about? Alright. So when I first got this game on the Xbox 360, I remember I... I didn't know what to expect, I'll be honest. I knew she was, you know sexy or whatever and had this whole whole you know sexuality kind of as her character but uh i had the great idea to just <laughs> to play this game in my uh uh let's see we're gonna buy techniques to play this game in my at the time living uh, well at my, in my living room essentially where i had, I had the xbox set up uh for that time, before I had a mini desk in my room, um, so I was just I was playing Bayonetta, and I remember it was it's the living room, so every, literally it's just people in my household wa just walk by at any point, and um, I remember I remember my one my, my my poor mother. She walked by during the intro during the introduction, and I don't. I, she didn't say anything at the time, but I'm, she just, I'm pretty sure she did witness just Bayonetta spreading her fucking You've been naughty. on my TV screen, and never in my life had I had such second ba secondhand embarrassment. That's not even secondhand, that's just firsthand embarrassment. Of my mom probably thinking I'm a loser <laughs> from playing this game. She understands though. It was a, it was it was in high school, you know. She 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 definitely thought I was going through something. But anyway, um, there's a crow there that you can get if you're fast enough, uh, or not. All right, third time's the charm. Nice. So yeah, that's a nice little story of. Another reason why I love this game: family bonding. You just have your parent, just have your parents walk, uh, walk, basically walk by you while you watch a a, a, a virtual female character spreading her. <laughs> Let's just fight these angels. And now with my newly gained abilities, I can continue my combos even in the air. To make fantastic combos for myself and get me even... Where'd you go? Ah, oh, you broke my combo, you bitch! Now you must be, give, be punished. See, and that's why now we have to enrage all these enemies and get boosted points because we can't be having low scores now, can we? What the hell? Why are you on the fountain? Fuck out of here. Give him the old. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Bam. Now we are introduced to weapon, uh, angel weaponry. And this weapon right here that I'm holding in my hands, the most broken weapon in the game. 
and I will show you why with this guy, Big Boy. Beloved, beloved by whomst? Fucking no one. Okay, y'all ready for this? Hit me. Watch this. Watch as the health bar just melts away. And just like that, three-fourths of his hell just got absolutely obliterated. Goodbye, and dead. And now we do this. The gloves are off. And the pants and the shirt. And we get a demon. And then we button mash. And I didn't get it. God damn it. Well. Oh, see? That, that combo breaking at the start. But at least we get this. A new weapon. So I'm gonna go back because... The only way to claim weapons is at the store. With Rodan. And because this game likes to hide fights in different places. And I remember there's one back here, so we're gonna go do that really quick. Well, well. An angelic hymn's well, well. Got your hands on something awfully rare, haven't you? That thing is the perfect bait to coax out some of Hell's ugliness. One note hits their ears, and a damn who's who of Inferno comes who's who in a circles. Then I can use them to breathe life into what I make best. Weapons of mass destruction. Tell you what, you give me that record and I'll order up something so fiendish, angels will cry at the sight of it. I'll just have to pop that All right. topics for a bit. Bye-bye, Rodan. It's just T-poses away. <laughs> nah, he's not T-posing. Almost. But not quite. All done. He's a little rude, but he makes up for it with charm. All right, and we get the Onyx Roses, which are shotgun variants to guns. Um, and whenever you unlock a weapon, you get access to a different variant that you can strap to uh, basically another set that you can strap to your guns if needed can i buy anything else by the way um i have to buy this i mean this is i'll show you all in a sec as she walks away slowly <laughs> all right so before we go let's strap the new shotguns to set a to our hands and we can shoot from them. See, she's got the new the new Glocks. Oh, you can't. Oh, well, enemies. Yeet. And now each weapon has different properties. So the thing with the shotgun is it has a lot, the shotguns, they have a lot of stun on them and they have increased power. So. That'll help a lot, help us out a lot with clearing enemies. But we may run into issues in that we're not able to maybe reach combo points that are good enough for good scores. So you really gotta be careful with what weapons you use and play appropriately with them in order to, in order to get a good score in this game. Which is another reason why this game is so good. Because it actually punishes you for poor playing. Poor playing? For playing poorly. And just like that. Get shot up. And we get a pure platinum. Almost forgot about a secret treasure chest here. A witch heart? Definitely didn't want to forget that. 
Yeah, if you collect four pieces of those, you get more health, so definitely want to keep an eye out for those babies. Also, I just realized I didn't show off the breakdance. Well, I'll show it off here. Oh, God. Okay. I'll show it off when there's one enemy on the screen. Right now. Just dance on. Bam. <laughs> so good. This game is incredible. And it has... Watch, watch, watch this. Y'all ready? What does Will Wendy Williams say? Um, she's got a point. Something she is the moment. Something like that, right? Imagine being built like Wendy Williams. Now come on now. Anyway, we're having a flashback moment. What are you doing? Let's go. No. Oh. And we have to oh, we have to fight this big ass dragon angel. Now the the good thing about this little segment here is you can easily cheese it because well, I don't know if it's cheese, but Wicked Weaves teleport to whatever you're fighting, so you can do a regular combo, the, the Wicked Weave teleports to the enemy you're locked onto uh, to help extend combos or keep combos and whatnot. But uh, I'll, 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 what the, get out of my way, I'll go, <laughs> I'll play how it's meant to be put. Alright, <laughs> I'll play how it's meant to be played and come out here and attack them. I don't have a problem with that as as uh, all my other uh, people get eaten alive that's you know that's fine and sometimes your wicked weaves don't reach the enemy <laughs> oh god the fireball was a coming all right goodbye nice seeing you Bruh. Also, if you take damage in that segment, you you keep the damage, by the way, so... Um, I don't know how you get hurt in a memory and then end up getting hurt in the present time, but... Uh, what do I know about metaphysics? Oh, and that book I picked up was going to teach us how to brew items, but again... You are penalized for using items in this game, so... Yeah, definitely don't want to do that. Also, I can definitely deteriorate this guy's health before he collapses the stage. Watch this. And last bit of health. Yep, he should be dead. And then he meets the bridge. Good lord. Please. Alright. Okay. Nope. Didn't know at what point he would pop back up. Die. Oh. Let's back it up. Back it up. Please don't. Stun me. Nice. Get that witch time. And then we go in for that big, big boy punish. Hello? Aren't you dead? Die! Yeah, get 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 our pet our pet dog. No touching. Oh no, I barely missed it, bruh. Whack as fuck. what I like to see. Alright, that should be in Platinum Average. That's what we're aiming for in this uh, playthrough. Just the first time Platinum Average. 
Alright, and that should... Oh, nope. You gotta do angel attack. Just kidding. Alright, let's get our extra money, because, um... I definitely want to get to my full power here with all the techniques later on. Alright, and that was the first chapter, or the, the prologue and the first chapter. I really hope you all enjoyed. I definitely want to do more of this game. I, I want to put up the challenge for myself to beat this game during the month of December. But I don't know if that's possible because I don't have a set time to record anything i just do it when i can but you know what i'll put i'll put you know i'll put that challenge on myself i'll try to beat this game during d during <laughs> during december during october i want to get this game out of the way for bayo 3 so i will see you all next time goodbye